everyone, welcome to the Hilton Hotel in Shenzhen. Uh, I'm at All Winner's first partner conference. This is our first event promoting All Winner uh, and looking at some of our products and what we're doing. So we have a number of partners here today that work with us in different technologies, uh, in different industries within the ecosystem of Shenzhen and Guangzhou. Uh, and we also have a lot of products on display. So we're going to have a walk around, we're going to look at some of those products uh, and show you a little bit about what the APC event has in store. Okay, so this is the first booth from our BU1 business unit. Uh, we have a number of sort of home entertainment products on display. So if you look over here, uh, we have some Bluetooth and Wi-Fi speakers. Uh, these are obviously quite popular at the moment. So these are made by some Chinese brands. Uh, over here, we have some software. Uh, this software is used for facial recognition. Uh, so as you can see on the monitor here, uh, the software can kind of recognize the, the different people in the photo. It can also recognize different objects like a motorbike or a horse. Um, so many applications for this kind of software in automotive, uh, also in home entertainment. Uh, over here we have a, a popular product in Asia, not quite as popular in the West. Uh, but this is sort of a home karaoke machine. So if you enjoy singing, uh, you can sort of listen to your favorite song, watch the video, sing along. Uh, maybe not for me, but uh, it's quite popular here. Uh, another popular product is obviously drones. So we saw the image recognition software earlier. Uh, one application for that software would be in a device like this. Uh, so maybe I could fly this around, sort of identify different individuals or different objects. Okay. So over here, uh, we have like some similar to maybe like a portable TV, uh, but these devices have evolved a little bit. Uh, they sort of feature sort of richer features than just television. So this device has sort of a similar operating system to like an Android device. Uh, these kind of sort of products are marketed maybe at older people, uh, people that aren't quite as tech savvy. Uh, so it's kind of designed to be easy to use, uh, not too complex. Uh, and finally, over here, uh, we have a product from a company that makes tablets for the educational market. Uh, this tablet uses some software that can detect your face uh, and also detect how far away you are from the object. So if I stand over here, it can measure the distance between myself and the device. Right. Okay, so as you can see, we, we have some other stands on display here. So we're going to move over and have a look at what's on display. All right, so in, in this booth, we have a number of display devices. Uh, so the first device over here, uh, this is used for video conferencing. So here would be your display and it's got your sort of camera for video conferencing or you want to make some Skype call or you want to use WeChat, uh, you can use a device like this. Uh, and we also have some other display devices. Uh, this is sort of similar to a digital photo frame. So you might want to display different images in here or your favorite photos. Uh, you can also update those photos using your mobile phone. Uh, so maybe if you bought a gift like this for your parents and you were on holiday, uh, you can send them an image and they can display that in their home. So that's kind of a cool, cool gadget. Over here we have a two-in-one tablet device. So this is becoming more and more popular in the tablet market. Uh, a lot of people are switching from laptops to two-in-one devices. Obviously these are a little bit more portable. Uh, and you can attach the keyboard here if you want to do some typing, do some email. And finally here is a payment machine. Uh, so this device can take payment. So maybe this is used more in the commercial space rather than the consumer space. Uh, most of these products are aimed at the consumer market, uh, but some of them do have commercial applications. Uh, we also have an advertising board uh, that sort of supermarkets can use to display things. Uh, that also has sort of commercial applications. So we'll, we'll carry on over in this direction. Okay, so we have a, another product here from Reboy. 
This again is an educational tablet device. Uh, we're also working with this company to support a uh, Snapdragon chipset on these devices. Uh, that's a new product uh, project we're doing with Greenpoint. Uh, and another sort of product we talked about in the past is the Aspen laptop. Uh, obviously we've done a couple of videos about this featuring our A64. So this is quite a sort of hot product at the moment. That's why we brought it to the show to sort of show you. sort of area that all are working quite hard in uh, we're not launching a new business division called all winner services uh, this is to try and promote our TV box solutions so we have an OTT TV box solution based on our h3 processor uh, this is more for the retail market you can just sort of buy it off the shelf uh, but in the future we're going to be aiming solutions also at the operating market uh, so this is an example here of one of our TV boxes This using our H2 processor, and you can see it's, it's quite a nice display. Uh, this is in full H, uh, 4K. Okay, so moving on. Yeah. Did, did so, you try this one? I'm not trying to do one. No. Very clear. Very clear. Full HD. So this clip-on, so if I want to sort of navigate through the video, I can use this device to, to go forward, go back, uh, access the menu. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. It's my pleasure. Glad to meet you. You too. Okay, so here we are at the All Winner Partner Conference. Uh, so here is the conference hall. So we have a number of speakers that will be giving talks at the show today. People from ARM, people from different technology companies in China. Uh, and they'll be sharing with us what's going on in their business, what's going on in their company. Uh, and maybe there's some opportunities for us to work together uh, and push things forward in the Guangzhou and Shenzhen ecosystem. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed listening about our conference and we look forward to showing you next year's event.